say the diameter of two circles are side of a square and the diagonal of a square. Let us assume that the side of the square is S. If the side of the square is S, what will be the diagonal? You know that diagonal of a square is root 2 times its side, root 2 S, right? Diagonal of the square is root 2 S. Now this side and diagonal are now becoming the diameters of two circles, right? Obviously, the smaller circle's diameter will be S and the larger circle's diameter will be root 2 S. How do we know this? Because larger diameter has to be obviously more than the smaller one, right? So if that is S, this is root 2 S, right? This is more than S. Root 2 S is more than S. So we can say the diameter of smaller circle is S and the diameter of larger circle is root 2 S. Alright? What do we have to check here? The ratio of areas of smaller circle to larger circle. Now you know that area of a circle is pi r square, right? Area of a circle is pi r square. So from this let us calculate the radius, right? What is the radius of smaller circle? S by 2. If the diameter is S, the radius will be half of it, S by 2. And radius of the larger circle, root 2 S by 2, which is actually S by root 2. Yes or no? Root 2 goes root 2 times here. Now find out the area, right? So ratio of area of smaller circle is to area of larger circle, which is nothing but pi into radius of smaller circle square is to pi into radius of larger circle square. See, basically all these steps are not required. I am trying to give you a detailed solution. You can cut down uh, most of the steps here, right? See, the point is pi anyway gets cancelled. Area of a circle is proportional to the radius square. Pi is a constant here. So that does not affect our answer. So we can say that the final ratio that we are looking at area of smaller circle is to area of larger circle ratio will be equal to radius of smaller circle square is to radius of larger circle square. Now what is the radius of smaller circle? S by 2 whole square is to radius of larger circle S by root 2 whole square. So this is S squared by 4 and this is S squared by 2. So S squared and S squared gets cancelled on both the sides. What do we get? 2 is to 4. 1 by 4 is to 1 by 2 means 2 is to 4 which is 1 is to 2. So option A, 1 is to 2 would be the right answer. Right? In fact, you can directly take the ratio of the diameter squares. Right? Because in other way, we can say that area of a circle is either pi r squared or you can take it as pi b squared by 4. So what happens? If you observe, in terms of this formula, area is proportional to r squared because pi is a constant. If we take in terms of diameter, area of a circle is pi b squared by 4. Pi is a constant and 4 is also a constant. So what affects the area? Diameter square. So instead of doing in terms of radius, a smart person what will you do? We will directly take the ratio of the two diameters. Area of smaller circle is to area of larger circle. Will be diameter of smaller circle square is to diameter of larger circle square. Right? Because it is proportional to diameter square. So you can directly take it as S square is to root 2 S square. Even that will give you the correct answer. right? Take this S square is to root 2 S whole square. So this s square is s square, root 2s whole square becomes 2s square, which gets cancelled, final answer is 1. So either directly take in terms of diameter square, area being proportional to diameter square, or area proportional to radius square. Right? Both will give you 1 is to 2, option A as a correct answer.